Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Storm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch, the Kingdom Black Desert, on April 3rd of 2024, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings so many clickbait options to put in this title, I don't know what I'm going to pick, we got a free 30 billion silver item just going in your inbox, you got the merging of all the different black zones, there's a ton of stuff. I'm not going to waste any more time with the intro, just quickly before we get into it. If you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win and... Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And I'm not going to make you wait any longer. We're talking about a new Jay's Hammer that's in your inventory here. Well, it's in your Challenges menu. Press the Y key on the keyboard to bring this menu up. And on here, you're going to see a new Jay's Hammer of Precision. This item is used for enhancing accessories. Same functionality as a Jay's Hammer. It also prevents them from downgrading if the upgrade fails, which is a nice little bonus even over Cronstones. Um, and again, applies to the accessories that you can see listed on the screen right there. This item can be sold on the central market. Right now on the NA region of the game, it's going for about 30 billion silver. I don't know if we're ever going to get any more of these, so if you're looking for like the quick cash in, you can probably sell it. If you want to play the long game and see what happens with the market here on these as these all get bought up. So far, there have been about 900 sales on the NA region. Um, we'll, see, we'll see how they continue to sell if they continue to sell. But anyway... Uh, again, free item in your inventory, 30 billion silver in NA right now at the time of this video. Um, or, again, you can use it if you're like a top-end player that's trying to upgrade your pen, Debrek, and necklace or something. Now, the next event that we're going to talk about is for returning players. For those of you that have been away for the game for a little bit, after 30 days coming back into Black Desert, we have new items here that you can obtain for uh, just logging in for 7 days. Some pretty nice stuff, old moon packs, value packs, blessings of Scam Sylves. Uh, nice, nice little bonuses right here for uh, returning players. And then for logging in as a regular player, or just in general for playing the game, uh, we have a bunch of stuff that we can pick up right here. You can see this in-game by clicking on the big ol' D icon up at the top of the screen. You'll see login items in here, tons of stuff for enhancing and upgrading your character's gear and whatnot. Crown Stones, Origins of Dark Hunger, um, nice stuff right here for, uh, for logging in. So pretty cool little event going on there. Do you know with these ones, you do have to claim the item every single day. So make sure you're uh, logging in and claiming that. And then, keeping in the theme of enhancing, if you press the Y key again to bring up the challenges menu, you're going to see these little seals picking up right here, Seal of Mellow Dreams. These are obtained as login rewards, you can get up to 15 of them per day for logging in for 90 minutes. Also, you can get these from AFK Fishing, from Gathering, and from Grinding Monsters out in the open world. So a bunch of different ways to get these items here. They can be exchanged using the new exchange menu, which was released last patch, so just to show you that, I'll claim these four. And if I go over to the Manage Currency icon in the top center of the screen right there, you'll see these Seals of Mellow Dream and all of the different items that can be exchanged here. So we have 500 Cron Stones, Origins of Dark Hunger, which again are free fail stacks, Advice of Valks 150 for those of you that are trying to gear your characters up, Enhancement Kits, Artisan Memories, Cron Stones again down here, uh, tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff that you can exchange with these. So again, AFK Fishing, Grinding, or Gathering picks these up, plus you'll log in to get to them as well. To obtain all rewards, you need a little over 1,000 of these, so you'll get 300 from login rewards. You'll need to pick up 700 of them from outside in uh, the adventuring of the game. So, pretty cool little event there. We're looking at billions of silver worth of stuff in here, so really, it, it's fantastic. And that's going to do it for the events, so now we can get into the patch notes themselves, and the patch notes themselves, again, bring a bunch of cool stuff. So first portion is all events, which we already covered. Pretty nice events, though, again. Next up, we have the class changes, and the lawn is getting several changes here to a bunch of the skills. So if you play the lawn class, you might want to read through these and see these adjustments that are coming through here. We then get a few little tweaks to Valkyrie, Hashin, and Nova, so just some like changes there, very, very, very fine changes, nothing too crazy. Lawn is the one that gets the majority of the stuff here. Moving on into the content, the bartering life skill is getting a ton of changes. The first like half of these patch notes, like all the way to about here-ish, are all. Uh, all changes to the bartering system. So you can see like half of the patch notes here today are for bartering. Overall, they're making it easier to continue to progress through the various stages of bartering by making the refresh have a shorter cooldown, as well as increasing the amount of items that you can exchange for the various barters for the higher end stuff, reducing the amount of stuff that you need to spend for coins to get upgraded materials for your boats, making the weekly kill quests easier to complete, consolidating other kill quests so that you can do them faster, Adjusting spawn locations to make it easier to obtain stuff. Again, reducing more monsters that you need to kill to complete quests. Giving you more rewards from completing the different quests. All in all, overall, trying to make the enhancing of your boats, as well as the amount of income that you can gain from bartering, better overall. 
I personally have not done bartering in a couple of years now, so I don't know how much of an impact this will have, but they do appear to be some pretty nice changes to make bartering easier. Consolidation of the items that you need to start your bartering chains from the land-based goods to level 1 trade goods. Just all around great improvements uh, to the bartering system. So um, if nothing else, it'll be nice quality of life improvements, and it, it does look like it should um, improve your income a little bit here as well, make it easier to upgrade your boats, and all in all, nice changes to the bartering life scale. We then have some changes to cooking and alchemy, so if you ever put in the wrong recipe, you'll know that your cooking just automatically stops and consumes the resources. Now, cooking and alchemy will not consume the resources if you put the wrong recipe in, so pretty straightforward there. The horse taming minigame has been made easier, so from 11 seconds to 6 seconds, basically halving the amount of time that it takes uh, to complete this little minigame, so nice improvement there. Now we get into the next big clickbait thing here, and that is going to be the Blackstone Simplification. So for this one, the weapon and armor stones that are used for various things have been consolidated down to a singular form. So hard black crystal shards and sharp black crystal shards are consolidated down to sharps. The Blackstone's armor and weapon are being consolidated down to Blackstone weapon. And the magical Blackstone's of armor and weapon are being concentrated back down into just weapon stones. So, these stones will uh, all be able to be exchanged for any ones that you have in your inventory with the Black Spirit. So, if I just go ahead and use the find function here and type in, like, hard black crystal shards, I'll take these five out right here and take them into my inventory. If I open up the Black Spirit by pressing the comma key on the keyboard, then click on the exchange tab at the bottom, you will see hard black crystal shards to sharp black crystal shards times one. So, you can make that exchange just like that, pretty straightforward. If you try to go to the central market and buy these crystal shards, so if I just type in like crystal shard, you will see that only sharps are left. There's no longer hard crystal shards. So you'll have to manually exchange all of these items over to their new form. The same is true for any of those other stones. So you'll have to exchange them through with your black spirit in order to complete that exchange. Because of the changes to these black stones, a bunch of recipes have been adjusted. So things that previously required the armor stones now require weapon stones, uh, pretty much down the line for all those different types of things. Next up, we have the removal of summon scrolls for bosses. So a bunch of different bosses we were notified were going to be losing their scrolls. This came out maybe a couple weeks ago in one of the patch notes, and now they're officially removed from the game. So no more boss summon scrolls there. Moving on, life EXP transfer coupons are no longer usable. So this is in preparation or in advance of our merging of life skills that we have coming up pretty soon. Um, so you no longer can spend money to transfer your life skills since they will be getting merged at some point in the relatively near future. I'm really looking forward to this one personally. I'm excited to see what it does for life skilling. I'll be able to gather on a lot more characters, that's for sure. Hopefully it doesn't kill the market too much. <laughs> but moving on, we now have a new Deki Lantern spot at the Road Sulfur Mine. Road Sulfur Mine Deki Lantern spot has a gear score requirement of 700. It's another top-end grinding spot for the higher-end people um, out there if you wanted to go ahead and grind out there. Big items out of this location is Map of Unknown Peace, Debrek Earring, Manos Clothes, and then some accessories and whatnot that we typically see in the Valencia grinding zones. So... Uh, big one, Deprecate Earring is probably the biggest one a lot of people will be looking for. And then that's going to lead us into our final major thing with this patch, and that is the discontinuation of the old UI. For those of you that don't know what this is, or maybe you've accidentally clicked on it before, escape key on the keyboard, old menu. This is the original little Black Desert main menu thing here for with all of the different buttons and stuff that you needed. This will be getting discontinued here relatively soon, so um, you'll be forced into the new menu if you've been using the old one. So, sad little moment there. It's being discontinued as of its introduction from September of 2017, so um, that's when the new menu came in. They've continued to support it, but no more. Uh, you have to use the new one. But then beyond that, nothing else too crazy with this patch. So, again, this patch brings a lot of cool stuff. Free Jay's Hammer, tons of enhancement materials. We're getting, like, tens of billions of silver worth of free stuff just for logging to the game, so that's fantastic. A couple new items, consolidation of Blackstones, new grind zone. Pretty eventful patch. So, now's your turn. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Excited for this patch, looking forward to anything out of it. Going to be picking up some cool items, uh, enhancing some stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.